It's also possible that those qualities will fall on deaf ears as buyers flock to SUVs that sometimes offer none of the above, and at a higher cost. We see the Sonata is a compelling, high-value package that may be a little light on personality but is a pleasure to drive and has a roomy interior. We've rated it a 7.3 out of 10. This year, the Sonata has a new look outside, some minor tweaks inside, an available 8-speed automatic transmission, and a new sport trim level. It's not an all-new car, but it builds on a redesign for 2015 Sonata with a small injection of passion that should help it stand out once again. The Sonata is available in SC, Sport, Eco, and Limited trim levels, with a choice of 3-4 cylinder engines. Sonata SE, SEL Sport, and Limited versions all come standard with a 2.4 liter inline 4 rated at 185 horsepower. Optional on Sport and Limited models is a 2.0 liter turbo 4 rated at 245 horsepower. The Eco, which we haven't driven for the 2018 model year. Hybrid and plug-in versions of the 2018 Sonata will follow. We'll update the space when we know more and when we've driven them. Even in sport trim, the Sonata is quiet and composed. It's certainly not a cornered carver, but it handles day-to-day -day tasks exceptionally well. Responsive steering and the plush ride help it stand out. All trims are well equipped, and this year Hyundai has significantly sliced the price of its range topping limited by deleting a formerly standard panoramic moonroof in favor of a smaller, traditional moonroof, and by dropping heated rear seats.